Hey! Hello, and welcome to a Thursday. It's been, uh, it's been quite a Thursday. Hello, Wiggles. You're in early. It's good to see you. Were you not working today, or did you have a early, early meal break? <laughs> anyway, uh, my name is Shovel. This is... Precious Juggalos live painting and chill with me, Shovel, here in the Juggalo dungeon. Yeah, I was a little late. Um, I'll explain. Um, so yeah, whoop whoop, everybody. First thing we're going to do, uh, one reason why I was late, Wiggles, is I got a new, um, a new attachment for my camera. It's a new rotating ball head instead of this, uh, very flimsy piece of crap that I had. I got a much better one that's a lot, a lot more stout, so I'm able to uh, manipulate the camera a little bit more. Um, and of course, I changed that out five minutes before I started my stream. And uh, I didn't realize my cables are too short, so I can't exactly tweak it the way I want it. But uh, but anyway, it kind of gives you an idea of what I am wanting to do with this. I, I haven't set the angles or anything. It's just... I saw another guy doing a video um, where he paints miniatures and he set up his camera so that it's angled um, and shooting kind of over his head so it's more of the you can see what I see instead of just being straight up and down. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I clearly haven't been able to tweak it yet and I don't want to do too much since the cable's too short. I don't want to I don't want to jack up my camera, but that's, that's the plan. That's the goal. Uh, whenever I guess I'm going to have to order a new cable. Um, until then I'll probably just go ahead and have it straight up and down. Like I have been doing. Um, that's way up on the desk there. Anyway, uh, the flavor of the day today is actually going to be a double shot of uh, cotton candy. That's the plan. See, look at that. I can just hold it, hold it out, and you can see it pretty well, other than the glare. So, whoop whoop, here we go. It'll be a good shot once I, uh, once I do get it set up. And honed in. Right now, it's just, uh literally just slapped it on there didn't do any work at all but that's okay um because in further news i won't be painting today um and to explain that i don't know if you can tell uh i went to the eye doctor and got my eyes dilated i wasn't planning on getting them dilated um but they did it and I can't see details right now, so I can't I can't paint to the standard I want to be able to paint. So instead of trying to force it and uh, potentially ruining things, um, we're just gonna hang out today. It's just gonna be a just chill uh, episode, a chill stream of stream of consciousness conversation, I suppose. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't let anybody down. I apologize that I, I won't be painting today, but I, I just can't. Um, if I did, it would it would not be very good, and um, that would just be frustrating to me. And uh, yeah, I don't need that in my life, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, one cool thing that did happen that we can talk about. Um, so I, I think I brought up before that uh, somebody had reached out. Um, and, uh, actually first, let me take a big old gulp of Cotton Candy Fago. That's real good. Also, I, I did need to go to the eye doctor. Um, apparently it's been almost four years. It's been three and a half years since I went to the eye doctor. Obviously I do wear glasses. I know I don't wear them on the stream. Um, because, uh, because I'm nearsighted, so when I'm painting, I don't need my glasses. Um, 
I've been wearing glasses since I was in fourth grade, so whoop whoop to that. Um, so yeah, I've, I've needed new glasses, so I finally went to the eye doctor to get my eyes checked out. Part of that process, they dilated my eyes, even though I don't think I needed it. Anyway, back to what I was saying. The cool thing. I mean, a lot of cool things happened today. Um, I got that new piece of gear that will come into play tomorrow. Um, I've got some more things coming in. I have uh, I have my own boxes that I'm, I'm getting in. I ordered a uh, Precious Juggalo stamp last night. Things are really starting to come together. And and I like it. It's exciting for me. Um, I like... I like... Uh, I like... I like making the business look legitimate and not just like a dude that's just playing in his basement. Um, before I show you, well, let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, let me hang on one second. Let me let me try to adjust this camera a little bit, get a, at least a little bit more centered. Yeah, that's a little better. And let me... can't remember what all the knobs do on this thing. Let me try to get the pitch a little better. This new, this new head has so many more controls on it. It's so... so much smoother. Just altogether stronger. Okay, so there we go. Um... Check the focus. Whoop. Doing this with dilated eyes, so if it's not in focus, I apologize. Trying my best here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I had somebody reach out, um, and they commissioned me to do a piece. Um, she actually bought a, a piece for me already, and she liked it so much that she wanted to get a piece painted for a friend of hers for her birthday. Um, and so... She sent this to me to get painted, um, and it also just arrived, like, within minutes before the stream started. Uh, she sent me a message that she'd gotten an alert that it had delivered, so I ran upstairs out of the Juggalo dungeon, and sure enough, out on the porch was this little guy. So, super, super stoked to get this painted. I really wish I could start on it today. Um, but I just can't. I can't flip and see it. I mean, I can see it, but I can't, I can't see it well enough to, uh, to do it justice. But, um, I think, ooh, that shakes a lot, doesn't it? This new head is heavy, that's for sure. Hopefully I won't have to touch it too much. Um, but yeah, so, I am thinking what's gonna happen here is obviously juggalo the face um so square the my shop it's the shop itself is free um the way that they collect their money is they take a percentage out of your sales but it's it's a very small percent like i before i i started using square i kind of looked at all the different selling platforms to see excuse me what would be the best and part of the reason why i chose square is the pricing was good there's no like upfront fees it's only they only take chunks out of your sales small chunks also i can use it where you can buy off the site or i can sell things through my phone like so if i'm at an event and people want to buy from me i can just ring it up through my phone so and it keeps inventory. I'm I'm a big nerd about inventory. Um yeah, so I I have an actual square site. Like there's there's square that you can use to just like um transfer money or whatever. I have a square site. Um it's it's something you have to sign up for. Um but it's it's real easy. I'm not I'm not great at it. I don't think my shop looks good, um, but I haven't really sat down to make it like good um one of these days i probably should but uh but today's not the day um yeah gosh yeah dilated eyes sucks i 
Oh. So yeah. So I know I have other things going on um, that I should be working on. But tomorrow when my eyes aren't broken, I'm going to start painting on this in the stream. Um, and so that's that's something to look forward to for sure. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get it completely done in one stream. Sorry, I whacked the microphone there. Um, if I don't, um, thinking about my schedule, I kind of have some things going on this weekend. Um, if I don't get it all done tomorrow, which I guess I could run a long stream tomorrow. Uh, that's, that's plausible. Um, yeah, so I, I might do that just to get it done. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, if you're just joining us, my eyes are broken today. I went to the eye doctor. They dilated my pupils, so I can't paint today, um, which is lame. So instead, you're just going to have to bear with me chit-chatting. Um, so today is the day. If you have any questions, any at all, throw them in the chat. I have no problem. I'm an open book. I'm a, a very, uh, I don't know, I, I don't have any problems talking about pretty much any topics. Um, the fire, I, that's probably the worst thing to say on the internet. Um, within reason. <laughs> uh, I also reserve the right to defer on any topic. But yeah, unfortunately, there will be no painting today. Um, I can't do it. Um, but I will tomorrow. Promise. Once I sleep the stupid crap they put my eyes off, I will definitely be painting. And I'll be painting the thing that I was just showing. This is a commission piece that I'll start on tomorrow. Um, I like that it came in its original box, and I like that it, the original box has the uh, styrofoam surround. They don't all have that, let me tell you. Um, but that styrofoam surround, it's, it's very durable. It definitely makes shipping a lot less worrisome, which, uh, a lot of packages got sent out in the, like, over the course of the weekend, and most of them are arriving today, so if you did buy anything from me, uh, go check your porch, because, uh, some of y'all are getting your, your packages to delivered today, and if they arrive... Send me a picture once you uh, once you put it up on your shelf or where you're on the back of your toilet or wherever you're gonna put it. Um, I've got a uh, a photo album on my Precious Juggalos Facebook page that I'm gonna put a um, gee many uh, words. Uh, I'm put those pictures in of happy customers is the name of the. Uh, the photo album. There's already some pictures in there because I already have some happy customers. Um, and I, I don't know. I just like the idea of seeing where these land uh, and what what you all do with them. Like what what your perfect spot is for them. Yeah, uh, Wiggles. I saw the picture of uh, of that hatchet that you did. Um, yeah, yeah. And I, I I don't know if you had another troll beyond the one that I put in timeout. Um, but I, I did put one in timeout while I was with you last night. I was actually with you a lot longer than, than you realized. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't chat. Um, yeah, too many, too much, too much going on. Which, that's, that's why this is so frustrating. I have so much work to do right now, but I, I just, I can't, can't do it. Um, Wiggles, did you see the, uh, the picture I posted on my Facebook, too, of, uh, I found a Care Bears painting, well, uh, canvas thing, a print on a canvas that I'm going to repaint into a Juggalo. Uh, I'm real excited about that. I actually went out and got some, uh, it was difficult with my looking at everything like this, but uh, bought some supplies specifically for it. Um, so, and after posting it, there were quite a few excited people online, so can't wait to paint that. I was kind of hoping to, uh, well, in the stream today, uh, wait, what, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, 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 I'm an idiot. In the stream today, I was going to work on 
this uh, garbage pail kid that we started yesterday, um, inspired by Cannibal Stew. Um, actually, we'll show her this way. It'd probably be better. So yeah, I was planning on working on this, but uh, but I can't see. So we're not going to do it today. And we won't be working on it tomorrow. I'll be working on that uh, commission piece tomorrow. But I do want to finish this in the stream since I started it in the stream. Uh, the the Care Bear thing I won't be doing in the stream because it's it's just too big for this studio. Uh, so I'll I'll be painting that off stream, but I'll definitely be posting it on socials to let everybody see how that works out. I was thinking about doing uh, the Amazing Jekyll Brothers um, paint scheme for it. But, uh, man, it's just the, uh, well, they're brothers, so there's two of them. But I would only want to paint one of them on the stomach. So I feel like that's like shortchanging the theme. Um, but also, it's just, it's intricate paint, man. Those Jekyll Brothers with all the flames and stuff, it's hard. Might do your alien tonight. Did I miss that you have an alien? Is it a is it like doll size? Like a twelve inch uh, plastic alien? Oh, excuse me. You know what? I think I could paint her here at least. No, I probably shouldn't. Um, what I'm just, I hate sitting here and not doing anything. I have so much to do. Okay. Uh, maybe I can sculpt the uh, sticks and logs that are going under under the pot. Um, I can probably do that without seeing clearly, right? That should be easy enough. We can try. I mean, it's just rolling out snakes. Hey, Misty! Oh, Jimmy! We, we've been worried about Jimmy, actually. Um, so yeah, Misty, thanks for, uh, for checking in. Um, hope everything's good with y'all. Um, and... <laughs> yeah, tell Jimmy Whoop Whoop from, uh, from Shovel and from Wiggles. All right, yeah, I think I can roll out some snakes to make some sticks. I think I can do that without being able to see very well. <laughs> Thank you, Misty. Kind of got to figure out how uh, how thin I need to go with these. It still looks a little thick. What I don't like is that it basically surrounds the entire base of the pot. That's a lot of sticks. I did, um, off camera last night, I did bake this. So the, uh, the chef's hat is totally solid now. And it's not going anywhere. It's definitely secure on there. Which is all good news. Here, let me let me switch over. Since I am actually doing work. Yeah, Wiggles. Uh, Misty. Yeah, there you go. Welcome in, everybody. I see we've got some more people joined in. Um... Little, little bit of a different, weird stream today. Um, 
and I apologize for it, but I went to the eye doctor today, and they uh, they dilated my pupils, so I can't I can't see very well, so I can't paint very well, so I won't be doing any painting today. So sorry about the uh, false advertising on the title. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to do some sculpting. I think I I think I can sculpt well enough. Um, so, we're turning, we're turning this precious moment into this garbage pail kid, and to do that, we need to create a fire under this pot. And part of fire is wood. So, so I need to create a pile of wood under the pot. Let's see, how long does that need to be? About yay long. Let's try that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that's effective. Now just to do it uh like a hundred times. Oh, it's stuck to the desk. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Hmm. So how do I go about making that? This will be an interesting process. Let me prop her with that. Take another sip of Fago. Oh. Welcome in, everybody. My name is Shovel. We are continuing some work on our Garbage Pail Kid conversion of this precious moments girl in a pot of gold, which I think is a very strange piece in terms of message and meaning. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, this is going to turn out pretty well. Even though I can't see great. If you're here, take a moment, if you could please, and give me a thumbs up on this stream. I would greatly appreciate that. It definitely changes the way uh, YouTube views what I do. Without getting thumbs ups, it thinks nobody likes what I'm doing. <laughs> so if you are enjoying the weird stuff that I'm doing, take a moment of your time, please, and hit the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'm at 449 subscribers. I am really trying to break through that 500 subscriber number. So if you haven't already, I would very much appreciate if you could subscribe. I promise I won't spam your feed too much. I'm also on Facebook, which I think most of you probably know me from there. Uh, I'm also on Instagram if you want to follow me on all over on all those different socials. Thank you, Misty. Uh, Wiggles did bring up a, a Discord server. I'm also part of a, a Discord server. If you're into that kind of thing, that uh, it's kind of specialized for juggalos but it's also welcoming to non-juggalos like myself i consider myself to be more juggalo adjacent um and it's not it's not that i uh don't want to be a juggalo or whatever i just don't feel like i know enough to be to be able to take the mantle of being considered a juggalo I know some, but not much. Most of my information is very dated. 
There you go. Wiggles, uh, Casual Aquatics. Drop the link in the chat there. If you're interested, that will take you straight to a Discord server. Um, like I said, it's you don't have to be a Juggalo to join that server. Um, but most of the topics are Juggalo-centric. But we also just talk about daily life, you know? Because everybody deals with that. Oh, no. Oh, no. If you're a Chiefs fan, check your ESPN feed. We just got some bad news. If you're not a Chiefs fan, don't worry about it. Thank you, Wiggles. Wiggles also dropped a link in the, the chat to my uh, my shop, my online store. Uh, there is not as much in there as there used to be. Y'all are buying that stuff like crazy, and I very much appreciate that. Really trying to keep up with the demand. Uh, I've been painting quite a bit more lately, trying to uh, get some more things in stock. So bear with me, bear with me, I will, I will paint all the things, as long as you all keep uh, enjoying what I do, I will keep doing it. At this point, I actually realized I'm doing all of this on top of a grid mat. I've been guessing at my length. Um, the grid tells me what length I'm at. Use the tools you've got, bruh. Uh, that's a good question, Mary, and welcome in. Um, so, you can't quite see it. Uh, just off camera to my left, there is a, a mound of Precious Moments figurines. Uh, and I I did a bulk buy on Facebook Marketplace where I bought... Oh, uh, it was like 60, 65 pieces. Um, otherwise, for some of my oddities, uh, it's all thrift shopping. My wife is actually a reseller, so she... Uh, she actually is out and about at all the thrift stores and, um, I don't know, just garage sales, lots of different places, as well as my mom. Um, and so they know what I'm looking for and they pick it up when they see it. Well, they text me pictures and ask me if it fits what I'm looking for. Uh, so yeah, I, I kind of, uh, I'm kind of lucky Lucky that I found a really good bulk buy deal on Facebook Marketplace, which I highly recommend checking there. Um, but I also have a wife and a mom that are helping me keep a stock up. I also like thrift shopping too, so I go out with my, my wife when I can. Yeah, good question, Mary. I appreciate it. Hey, Moon Crater. Look at that. All kinds of new folks in the chat. Good to see you. Welcome in. Whoop whoop to you, Moon Crater. It's nice to see so many new names in the chat. If you're wondering what I'm doing and just joining me, I am still working on turning this precious moment into a garbage pail kid. Um, some of you have probably seen it online already, and that might be why you're here. 
But uh, but yeah, so Cannibal Stew. Oh, sorry, it's out of focus. Cannibal Stew is uh, I think he's series four or five, if I remember right. Um, it's a pretty easy match between the two. This this for whatever reason, this precious moments girl was in a pot full of gold coins, which is real weird. Oh, Mary. Okay, cool. Oh, well, the good news on that, Mary, is I am live consistently every Monday through Friday, 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time to 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can ask Wiggles. I'm very consistent. I almost didn't stream today because, because of my eyes being dilated. But then I thought, nah, I need to, need to keep with my schedule. And I'm glad I did, because uh, look at all y'all that are here today. Really appreciate that. Alright, does that look like a pile of sticks for a fire under a big cauldron? I mean, obviously they need to be painted, uh, but I'll have to bake them first to, uh, to make them solid. Yeah, it is coming right along. And then, if you're wondering... Uh, I will have a fire effect that I plan on sculpting in, too. Um, but that I'll be doing with uh, with cotton. Um, you can stretch and pull cotton and, um, and then, you know, uh, modge podge it and make it hard. Hold on, hold on. That's what she said. That's a thing we do here. Um, but yeah, so then once I get the, uh, the cotton molded in there, then I'll be painting it to look like fire. And, you know, it's not perfect, but it, it looks good enough. Definitely looks good enough. Oh, you're both from, okay, cool. Yeah, the, uh, the Discord has definitely been, uh, been jumping. It's it's grown quite a bit, and that's really thanks to uh, Wiggles Casual Aquatics. He, well, it's his server for one. He started it, um, but he's also the number one promoter. I'm terrible at that, so I don't I don't recruit too many. Uh, sometimes we get lucky, and people in my stream hop in over there. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah. What was I what was I about to do? Um if you're just joining, I'm not painting today. Just to explain it again. I had an eye appointment just before my stream. They dilated my pupils, so I can't see anything very good right now. I mean I can see, but I can't see as well as I need to to paint as well as I want to. Um because I like to keep my painting standards pretty high. Um and I don't, I don't even really have anything that I could, uh, paint like willy nilly and sloppy right now, or I certainly would. But, but yeah, so I won't be painting today. That's, that's the skinny on that. Let's see, what else, what else? Ne oh yeah, there is another thing that I need to sculpt. Um, so, let me adjust the focus. On the pot, on the original card, there's this little cast iron handle, a little round handle. Oh, there you go. You guys and your secret names. Yeah, th actually, this is why, if you ever see Wiggles call me Precious on the Discord, this is why. Uh, but I'm Shovel. Um... So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sculpt that handle too. And even though you can't see the back side of the pot, I know well enough that there's going to be a corresponding handle on the back side. I'm going to go ahead and sculpt that too, even though, you know, nobody will ever see it. And it doesn't really affect the overall look. Um, but I just like things to be symmetrical. And it would bother me. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night thinking about why didn't I do that handle on the back for the rest of my life. Because that's just the way I am. Amethyst. 
Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Sorry, my camera's shaking. There we go. Well, it's very nice to have both of you in. It's also very nice to have all the creeps and listeners. I see you. I see you. You're here. I see you in the numbers. Thank you for being here. So are you guys familiar with uh, Garbage Pail Kids at all? Because I, I know they're currently making them. It's, it is a thing. But, for me, this is nostalgic. I'm from the, the OG Series 1 uh, Garbage Pail Kid generation. Wiggles, did I make that look too easy? <laughs> that just popped right on there again. Oh, it's on the wrong... It needs to be this, to the side, though. It needs to be... right about there. But that just kind of went on way too easy. I hope that actually sticks. Um, let's see, what tools do I have? I'm old enough that I remember the Garbage Pail Kids movie. And if you ever want to see one of the worst movies ever made, that is it. It's terrible. So bad. Alright, sculpting another handle for the other side. And I'm, I'm glad I can at least sculpt. I was just planning on just sitting here and just talking. Sorry, the focus is off. That's, that's another, with my eyes dilated, it's kind of hard to see that, too. Alright, so the corresponding backside... Right there. Then we strap. Oh, cool. The alien. I will go look at that in 20 minutes. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Do not want it to stick to the workstation. Let's see, what can I put it on that is a little less sticky? Happen to have a grocery bag. Nothing says class like pulling some trash off the side of your desk and using it to keep your piece from sticking from your desktop. All right, I think I think that's it for sculpting. Let me look here. I do need to do something about these bubbles. Um, in the card, there is a shoe floating in the water. Um, I don't know if I can sculpt that, especially to be proportionate. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I'm good enough for that. Um, but I do need to do something about these coins that are sticking up and out. They do not look like fluid, uh, and that's a problem. 
So, I think, I think I'm going to have to break them, which is not a huge deal, but there is a little risk to it. Uh, let's see, how do I want it? I need to score it, is what I need. I need these coins that are sticking over the lip. They need to get gone. And that one's sticking up pretty much vertically. And there's another one back here that's sticking up vertically. The other thing that's in the original picture is a cookbook. Well, a book that says you are what you eat. Um, I don't know that I necessarily want to sculpt that, though. Because there's no way you can, uh, like, 100% recreate this image with this piece. Uh, you know, since, well, first off, she's a girl. She's wearing, a like, a night shirt or a, a sleeping gown. Um, he's... He's definitely a little boy, and he's not wearing any clothes at all. So, so there's that. And it's not just oh, just paint over the clothes. No, your 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 arms aren't puffy like this nightgown is. Uh, but you know it is what it is with that. I don't don't really care. But just saying that because there's a little bit of leeway, uh, I I think it would be too much to like do the book because then the book would be hanging off probably very breakable fragile anyway all that to say i'm not doing the book um yeah i think i think what i have sculpted right now it's probably all the sculpting i'll be doing uh in the picture, he's holding a like a ladle and a salt shaker, uh, with her hands clasped under her chin. She can't really hold anything, so we're not going to be doing that. So all that to say, she's Malenko. Yeah. Anyway. Either way. Oh, the vibes? Oh, for the music? Yeah, it's it's got kind of carnival vibes-ish. Or just my vibes. <laughs> ah, Cotton Candy Fago. Oh, did he? Nice. That's cool. It was... She did a really good job. I saw the picture. That it, it is a good design, and it will look good on a t-shirt, for sure. Um. So, yeah. Tell her Shovel says good job. Or if she's there and can hear me already. Good job! And get me a Mexican pizza. Actually, tomorrow... Tomorrow I should get myself a Mexican pizza. Yeah, I should. You know, that that's a actually you bring that up, Wiggles. Uh through all the craziness of sharing the the weird cherubs that kind of went viral there. I was kind of surprised they never really got picked up by anybody like I don't know, reasonably big. <laughs> It was definitely picked up by a lot of, uh, like, influencers. But I haven't broken into the celebrity realm yet. <clears throat> but we're working on it day by day. Just by making cool stuff. <sighs> okay, it is 5.15. I'm glad we actually got some work done today. I really, I didn't expect to get any work done. Um, 
If you're just joining us, I planned on doing painting today, but I got my eyes dilated at the eye doctor, so uh, so I can't really do any painting. I can't I can't see clear enough to paint well enough. So <clears throat> yeah, you know, Wiggles, I do. I tag uh, I tag the ICP accounts, you know, like the 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 band account, and then I tag violent j and i tag shaggy um on like instagram they're not taggable on facebook that i've seen and then on tiktok i tag the icp as a group has a tiktok and then uh sh the shaggy show i tag him and everything too um but i'm sure they get tagged in so much stuff that they they just don't even check um yeah and otherwise i don't know who to tag Honestly, um, because Juggalo adjacent. All I know is Violent Di Violent J, Shaggy Two Dope, and that's about it. That's all she wrote. Oh, that's tasty. Yeah, I kind of. Well, I was gonna say I kind of feel like they have people that do their socials for them. Which I think Violent J does, for sure. And it's probably the same people that do the ICP socials. But Shaggy definitely does post a lot of things that it sure feels like he's doing it himself. Um. Oh yeah, 100%. I'm sure they get tagged a hundred times a day by every Tom, Dick, and Harry out there that's... Oh, clown. Every single clown thing they get tagged in. And all the memes, I'm sure. I mean, even I see the memes that just get shared and shared and shared and shared and shared again. Like the Violet J Spin Magazine uh, cover that somebody made the other day. Dude, I see that in my feed every single time I open my phone. It's so... Like, the first time I saw it, it was only like half funny. Uh, by the tenth time I saw it, it's like, okay, yeah, this is stupid, but... Whatever. It's probably how f people feel about my Juggalo Cherubs, because I, I did actually see poop people that would comment, I've been tagged in this 20 times already. Um, anyway. It is 5.18pm Central Standard Time. Uh, I don't know why I was taking that off. I don't want it to stick to my desk. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping things up. I appreciate everybody coming in today. Uh, obviously Wiggles, he's been here from the very beginning, which is insane. He's usually never here, excuse me, for the entire show. Uh, Wiggles and Misty and, uh, Misty in lieu of Jimmy Casino. Brother, we, we love and miss you. Look forward to hearing from you again soon. Uh, and then... Mary and Moon Crater, uh, from the Juggalo Discord server, making the leap over to the Precious Juggalos YouTube streams, and I appreciate that you're here. Um, and all the creeps and listeners, there's been quite a few. I see the numbers. They're on my screen right there. Um, thank you all for coming in, too, and, uh, watching. I'm sorry it wasn't as entertaining as it usually is. Um... But at least we got some stuff done. Uh, not as much as I would want. And even after the stream, I've been painting late into the night, just trying to keep up with uh, with what everybody wants. But I won't be able to do it tonight. So, But that's probably good. It's probably good. I'll probably just uh, watch some Netflix and relax. It, it's probably going to be a good, good evening for me. Um, plus, I might have gotten myself some Oreos after I got done with the eye doctor because i was a good boy for the doctor today so whoop whoop hey adam welcome uh so i'll, I'll be eating some oreos this evening and there's nothing there's nothing you can say about that to make me feel bad about myself because i'm awesome and oreos are awesome all right uh yeah adam's been here before i, I definitely remember the uh your profile picture uh, or whatever, PFP. Um, here, let me, let me switch over to me. 
man, now my numbers are going. Why does this always happen? Right, right when I'm, I'm ready to start wrapping up the stream, people start coming in. I wish I could start later, honestly, uh, just so everybody knows. Um, I realize people are, are more uh, available to jump in streams like this later in the day, uh, but it just doesn't fit my schedule. So I I would adjust, but I can't. Um, I've got I've got my family that I I have to uh, um, be available for in the evenings. So this is. The hour in the day that I'm able to wedge in a live stream. 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time to 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, yeah, and Wiggle streams late. Uh, for me, it, I think you start at 10.30 p.m., uh, which is difficult. But I've been up later because I've been painting a lot. Um... Anyway, uh, if you like what I do, uh, you can also see me on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, and I post some in Reddit. It's been a while since I posted over there, but I do. Um, every In all those places, you'll find me as Precious Juggalos. That's the name of my little company, where I paint uh, little things like this, little Juggalo cherubs that people seem to go crazy for. Um, but I also do things like this, where I create Garbage Pail Kids out of Precious Moments figures. Uh, and that's what we we're working on today. Um, and I also do things like this. She isn't done yet, but that's another Precious Moments that's getting juggaloed. And I also do things like this, where I repaint, uh... Figures out of nativity scenes and juggalo them, and then he's got a little little bottle of Fago Moon Mist that he's bringing to the little baby Jesus, little juggalo Jesus. Yeah, so I do a lot of weird things. Um, check out my site, uh, my shop right there. That link in the chat. If you like what I just showed you, uh, there are still some pieces available, not nearly as many as there used to be, and they are. They're up for grabs, so if you see them in the shop, grab them. Uh, yeah, hit the like um, if you could on this stream here. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, uh, that Discord server link is in the chat as well. If you are a Juggalo, or are Juggalo curious, or Juggalo adjacent, or just looking to socialize with some folks in a, uh, a safe environment, that Discord servers, the perfect spot for you. Um, guys like me are over there. We uh, we hang out and we talk about all kinds of things. It's a good spot. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting something? Anyway, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go close my eyes for a little bit and try to let my let them be less... Do you see that? See how dilated they are? Uh, less dilated... Because that would be nice. Uh, it's nice down in the dungeon. It's not super bright down here. But uh, but I just can't focus as well as I would like to. So anyway, whoop whoop, y'all. Flavor of the day today was Fago Cotton Candy. And it's delicious as always. <clears throat> Yummy. Um... So there you go. I know it's a little... It's five minutes early. Um, tomorrow, if you would like to see a preview of what I'm going to work on tomorrow, I'm going to put the Garbage Pail Kit aside momentarily so I can work on a commission piece that just arrived. Uh, someone has asked me to juggalo this figurine and... Uh, Customize it however I see fit. So, definitely going to be a Juggalo face, obviously. Uh, and then I think we're going to alter this canvas. And, I mean, we got to go with what everybody knows me for at this point. That's going to go ahead and say, show me your butthole. And the way I think I'm going to do it, I think I'm going to do the butthole that I have been painting on my things right in the middle that I stole from Kurt Vonnegut. If you like to read books, you should read Kurt Vonnegut. 
And then I'll probably arch the letters around it. Or show me your butthole. Or something. I'll figure it out. Um, but that's the plan. And, uh, yeah. So I'll be starting on that tomorrow. Join me back here. Same bat time, same bat channel here on the YouTubes. Uh, starting at 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. This will be the guy we're working on. 100% guarantee it. Uh, so... Look forward to that. Look forward to seeing you there. Love you all. Thank you so much for being here. Wise words of the day. Old man wisdom from Shovel. When you have an eye appointment, go ahead and plan on them dilating your eyes. Because they're gonna. It doesn't matter what you say. They're gonna dilate your eyes. And it's gonna ruin your evening. Uh, so plan, plan accordingly. <laughs> I didn't. You should. Oh, and when they ask if you want the dorky sunglasses on the way out. Don't say, nah, I'm good. Take them. You're going to need them. 100%. Guarantee it. So that's that. <laughs> I love Kurt Vonnegut, too. Uh, before I cut it off, just because I love him so much, what's your favorite book from Kurt Vonnegut? Hmm? I dare you. I dare you. Drop that title. While I think about mine. Actually, I don't need to think at all. My favorite Kurt Vonnegut novel... Dead Eye Dick. If you haven't read Dead Eye Dick, 100% you should read Dead Eye Dick. It is phenomenal. Such a good book. Written so well in only the way Kurt Vonnegut can write. Such a good book. Uh, so hard to describe. I was trying to describe it to, uh, to some people the other day. And I know I ended up sounding like a lunatic because it, it's just such an unusual story. Moon Crater, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm not going to end the broadcast until I hear which novel or which book or collection of short stories. Mo Welcome to the Monkey House is really good, too. That's a collection of short stories. Um, Player Piano is great, and so is Cat's Cradle. Those are both great books. If you If you haven't read a lot, Check out Dead Eye Dick, and then and then read Welcome to the Monkey House because it, it's just a bunch of short stories, so it's easy to get through. Um, and then read all the rest of everything he's ever written because it's all good. It's all so good. Anyway, Kurt Vonnegut, so good. Love him. Love him just as much as I love y'all. Uh, thanks again for joining me. Um, this has been the Thursday broadcast of Live Painting and Chill. With me, Shovel, of Precious Juggalos. I hope you all had fun. Um, nice. Well, tell your mom she's cool. Shovel says she's cool. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you all later. Whoop whoop y'all. Love all of you again. Bye.